Hi, my name is Lyric, and today we are continuing with Breaking Bad. We are on Season 2, Episode 4, which is titled Down. Uh, just simply down. I don't. I have no way of knowing what that means. Uh, so let's go to the last episode. We have a lot of problems arising um, from the whole Tuco situation that happened. Uh, you know, Walter, he faked being in a state of psychosis, but he was able to get released from the hospital. Um, all right, but his family is definitely suspicious because they know he has a second cell phone. He has lied to Skylar about it, but she knows damn well that he's lying. Um, it's basically proven that he has a second cell phone, uh, but he's still lying about it, so... I'm curious how he's gonna how, how the hell he's gonna get out of that one without them noticing something's wrong, investigating it maybe. Um, no idea. Uh, Jesse, uh, he was investigated, but they let him go because my man Theo he did not snitch. Let's go. Uh, and but him and Walt, Walt still wants to cook. Jesse was like, "You still want to cook?" He was like, "What's changed, Jesse?" So I'm super hyped to see what's gonna go on here. Uh, see how their cook is gonna resume. Who are they gonna sell it to now? Um, What's going on with the full family situation, you know, with the second cell phone. And, yeah, let's get into this. Uh, if you like, by the way, if you like uh, my NBA videos, I know, uh, then go watch my original channel. I make original NBA content. Uh, go subscribe to that. It's the link, first link in the description. But, 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 yeah, let's just get into it. Breaking Bad Season 2, Episode 4, Down. These ominous intros. Oh, we're back to the black and white. Yeah, so this is how he started off the season two as a general. It was the black and white. It showed like the eyeball of the teddy bear, and it was like burnt halfway. And we still haven't got the resolution to that. I'm assuming because they're showing it again. Maybe it's gonna be like they're hyping up to that. So that's gonna happen like the season finale, and this is gonna like tease us up to it, or it's gonna happen this episode because they're showing it again. Yeah, here we go with the teddy bear. Shit's upside down now. What's happened to this poor teddy? Oh, that, like, evidence. Oh, God. So this teasing up about how they're going to raid their house and, like, catch all this shit? Because that's, like, evidence. They like, put it in a bag. Like, how they put, like, you know, like, evidence from the scene. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Oh, and the glasses. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's real not good. That's real not good. That means sometime in the near future, they're just teasing. They're going to get caught because that was Walt's glasses. And that was all of the things in that te teddy bear in the evidence bag. So that's what that whole thing's teasing up towards. Oh shit. That gonna happen this episode? Probably. I don't see a. Ha I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's just see what happens, man. Oh, I'm worried as fuck now. We're only in season two. How would they get caught? Like, how would they. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. That's very clearly Walt's glasses. So how would they know? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Breaking Bad. Created by Vince Gilligan. This is a store that uh, Walt was naked in and fucking Walt Jr. was selling drugs by. A lot's happened to the family involving the store. Oh, now Jesse's here. Hey. Great. This homeless guy. Captain America! Do you know? You don't. For now. No cooking until things settle down. So they're, so they're meeting here because they don't want to meet at Jesse's house because they know they have a connection and they don't want them to know about the any more of the connection. So, like, this is the only place where they, uh, I guess they, they could kill, you, you could, they just could put it off as they so happen to be in the same place at the same time, you know? Whatever, so... So they're, they're trying to make a plan of where they're going to cook again. We don't, for now. No cooking until things settle down. Exactly that I suffer for your carelessness. Okay, you're the one who wanted to work with Tuco. Okay, what the with that? None of this would have happened. I think it's both of your. I mean, both of you. Oh god, this police officer coming in. Both of you uh, made, messed up by wanting to work for Tuco. He wanted to work for Tuco in the first place, and Jesse didn't stop him enough, nearly enough, uh, knowing the consequences of what was going to happen. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> I think you. I think for for the situations you were put in, I think they actually ended up pretty. I think they ended up pretty good. Of course, there's a police officer coming in as soon as they're talking about this. Walt? No, she's super paranoid because she she knows he's hiding something, man. She's always and he went missing for a long time. He's super, she's super worried when she doesn't see him. What? 
Mm. Wow, good morning, honey. Hey, Mom. Um, Dad's cooking breakfast, but don't worry, I'm all. He's trying to make amends. He's trying to make. He's trying to make things feel better. All the dishes. Trying to be nice and everything. Huh? 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 Nice. Follow me. I want to. Grapefruit juice. Yes, please. Thanks. He has to get in good terms with you guys again, okay? Honey? Um, no. Has to do you guys a favor after all the shit that's been going on. Alright, well, dig in, dig in. Pancakes are not getting hotter. Pure musicianship? I would put them <laughs> up against any current band you can name. You wouldn't know any current bands. <laughs> besides the point. Have a good day, honey. You too. No, okay, this dinner table is getting happier. Like at the end, of, uh, there was some times where we were at this dinner table. It was getting real awkward, like real downbeat. This is an upbeat dinner table now. Okay, while he's making amends. Okay, I think maybe she's gonna think, uh, maybe the second cell phone, maybe there's something to say like psychosis or some. I don't know. Maybe she's gonna get away with it. Maybe he's making amends. Maybe he's making amends. Ah, boss gags. There's another one. Oh. Whoever they are, boss. She's gonna question him more. Their oh, baby's getting close uh, to being born, man. You know, I was he might get the, her, their baby might get born like the end of the damn season. You asked me the other night. You know, you were you were wondering if I had a, a second cell phone, and uh... oh fuck. Well, he have some alone time, I guess. Go talk to Jesse. Yeah, he's gonna. I know. I know. As soon as this guy gets alone time, he's gonna talk to Jesse, man. Yo, for what? Might help. Oh shit. Here goes here's the parents. They're gonna wonder well, how the fuck you end up in this scenario, Jesse. I mean it makes sense all like that are still going after him. I mean, your car was found in a fucking drug dealer place when the drug dealer was shot. I mean that, I mean that's not I mean, that's more suspicious than I don't know what to tell you, man. That's just, that's suspicious as fuck. I don't think you're getting out of it as easy as you were last time. Now his parents are here. Oh shit! You're kicking me out of my own house. It's your aunt Ginny's house. And she gave it to me. She never gave it to you, Jesse. You are allowed residentiary. Oh tributes. fuck! Your parents have always been the property owners. And we talked about. So they kicked him out of the house, man. Oh my god, his relationship with the parents is not going well. That makes the cooking thing even more complicated. They can't even go into this the house. Guy'd sell the house. Now he's homeless. So we split it fifty-fifty. That was the deal. What the hell happened? What happened is you're a speed. I saw your basement. What? Oh, yeah. I was worried. So I went over there and I let myself in. Oh, fuck. And I found your laboratory. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. She, well, she thinks it's speed. <laughs> I don't think she knows. You guys have your own key? Ah, shit, that's real not good that someone else knows. And it says parents nonetheless. Not someone who, like, oh my god, won't tell. It's like. It's oh my god. there anymore. I cleaned it all out. Son, we can't stop you from ruining your life, but you will not drag us down with you. Vacate the house in 72 hours. So he's. Oh my god, this is so bad. This is so bad. He's one. He's homeless. First of all, and two, he might get arrested if they keep telling the police about this shit. Otherwise, if they tell the if they do tell the police about this shit. Authorize me to contact oh my the God. authorities. Is that clear? Okay, so they're not gonna tell the police. Okay, that's good that they're. Okay, it's good that their parent, his parents, are not gonna tell the police. But it's not good that he's still gonna be homeless for a little. Do you have any questions? For <laughs> and, he, he, and he only has six hundred dollars for his fucking name. He's like, he needs he needs to talk to Walt, man. <laughs> he needs, uh, he needs a lot more money, man. He's fucking homeless. Three days, Mr. Pinkman. Oh my God, his parents are so sad, man. Fuck. Homeless with six hundred dollars to his name. Walt does not know what to do either. His situation's just social, though. Jesse's dealing with some uh, Jesse's issues are worse at this point. Well, other than you know, going to die, but <laughs> just in the moment. 
But Walt's not doing very well with his family situation, man. He's been caught in a big-ass lie. His wife does not even come close to Carson trusting him. Hi. Yeah. Everything's fine. This is not good. <laughs> not a good relationship currently, man. Walt, you need to come up with a better alibi. I don't know what alibi you can possibly come up with at this point, man. Hey, you know, for what it's worth, I, I was thinking about going back to those meetings, the cancer support group. I think that that's good. Yeah. I think his best excuse at this point would be, "Hey, I'm 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 not gonna lie to you. I'm still doing weed to help my cancer, and that call is from Jesse, and he's my weed dealer." I think that's your best course of action here, okay? I think that's your best course of action to explain this, okay? Yeah, yeah that's good. I don't yeah, know what else you can possibly say. I'm the money about that. Yeah, it's... I'm around. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna help big time with that. I don't know how he's going bitch. to, man. Fuck, he's going to mama bitch. Holy shit. That's not good. Both of these guys are having severe relationship issues. Uh, Jesse with his parents and Walter with his wife. It's all falling apart. Uh, add on to the fact that, uh, you know, Jesse's literally becoming homeless. I don't, with $600 to his fucking name. Yeah, I don't know how that relationship's ever gonna get repaired with his parents after that, man. Especially because he needs to keep doing stuff unless he gets a... Uh, hey, Mr. White. Hey, well, now that's the way. Don't just sit out there honking. Who's Flynn? Flynn, he's your... Flynn? Yeah. So? Does he not like his dad? Oh, I'm assuming, yeah, now he's really into, I think his relationship with his son's not that good. I think his son, once again, he knows something's up. He doesn't trust his dad at all. He doesn't even want to be called Walter Jr. because he doesn't want to be his dad. He still changed his name to fucking Flynn. So? Nothing? You ready? Jesse needs your help, Walt. He's literally homeless. Oh fuck, he's so pissed. Get Walt is pissed the fuck off. He's broken the fucking phone. They both broken their goddamn phones. Oh, I heard a fucking hand. Oh, hey, thank you, thank you so much. Thanks, man. Oh, hey, guy, you forgot something. Yeah, you forgot your ice <laughs> You're gonna need the ice trays. Uh, uh, uh. That's some really good acting, <laughs> bros. Oh my god. They are both so mad, bro. Walt needs to understand Jesse's situation, man. They're oh my god, their situations just keep getting worse and worse, man. I mean, I don't under, every episode I'm like, how are they gonna how are they how are these guys gonna get out of this situation, bro? How are they gonna get out of this situation? Every episode, Jesse is a homeless man with six hundred dollars to his name, and is might be arrested for fucking because he's been caught by his parents with the fucking lab. And Walt's entire family has gone against him. They don't trust him, and uh, Skyler is just completely shutting him out. His entire family situation has gone to shit. You going to an apartment? Do you have enough money? Black is the color, but beauty. I'm serious. I know that sounded tight. This is friend. Hey, thanks again, P. I made sure this stock now exterminated. Okay, moving in with the friend. You know, putting me on the speed dial. Two nights tops. I don't know. Hey, you still saying that your aunt's on Margot? Yeah. Um, hey, his friend looks like a goody two shoes <laughs> compared to him. Man. He like a kid. Jasmatic living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> hey, honey, you remember Jesse uh, Pinkman? Oh. Wow. His house is getting bug bombed, and I said he could crash a few nights. Hey, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> These two people are completely opposite from him. This is a normal ass family. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's not gonna help him, bro. He's lives. He's going to. He's on to a new life. <laughs> Even this kid's judging him. Hey, no, that's that's cool. I got tons of people. Yeah. 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 He got no one, bro. <laughs> Yo, in-laws. <laughs> Sucks to be you, P. Yeah, yeah, I know, huh? He's living, dude. Dude, him and Jesse, him and Walt have the same issue, bro. A lot of their people around them have, like, passed them in so many ways in, like, every part of life. 
Yes, yeah, of upsetting them both. It's good to see you. <laughs> Stop breaking these phones, man. You don't really got money. Stop breaking the phones. You've broken two phones. You keep hurting your hand. Wait. Uh, we started the episode off with this guy. A famous producer to this guy. Now he's becoming this guy. You cannot be serious. Hey. He's gonna have to break in to get it? How are you gonna get it out there? He's gonna fucking drive through the damn fence? I mean, a lot of- all his mess shit is in there still. So, I don't think you want police on you with that- with that, and you're gonna get fucking arrested. Luckily, your parents aren't snitching on you fully. Ooh, ow, ow. Ow. Ow! I'm part of the wire. Okay. What the fuck what kind of chemicals? Bro, what a weak ass roof, but he just fell through it. What is this blue shit? Oh my god. Now he's walking like a damn toddler. Uh, Jesse is in his worst point. This is... Holy shit, man. This is an emotional ass scene, but he's lost everything. <laughs> it all started from this RV, and he's just... With the gas mask in the RV. He's just crying. And emo That's an emotional ass scene. Holy fuck. Mm. Uh, like what? Something fun. All right, ready? Let's, what? Uh, put it in gear. Is your foot he's on trying to the, get. Uh, yeah. He's trying to at least get good relations with a son now, because his wife clearly is not going I well. Okay. Good. good. Sorry about that. It's okay. That's all right. You're doing fine. Much better. It's all good. Than last time. Oh yeah, Lewis has been helping me. Has he? Once good. good. Once again, okay. things. Don't forget the turn. Yeah, he, he clearly doesn't like when he's not told about things, yet he doesn't tell anyone else about a thing, so good. definitely hypocritical there. You know, he's realizing it. Yeah, let's make that left hand turn. Okay. Two days, two grand. That's totally fair. Just don't take my cook stuff. All right, that's all I got left. Please. That is all he has really... left. That's his only way of making. Getting his God, life back, yeah, man. I really need a break here. Okay? <sighs> yeah, that's what the episode's called, Down, because everyone's fucking down on the, like, the worst point. Especially Jesse. Especially Jesse. Jesse's at the fucking worst point of his fucking life. I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff in there. There's um, something called methylamine. I don't know. I banged on it. It sounds pretty full to me. Oh, he's breaking in once again. But how are you going to steal it, bro? Like, what? <laughs> There's no doors open, man. Holy shit, how much? Holy shit. Is he going to do the thing I was saying earlier? He's going to fucking... Oh, God. He has to go in that barrel. He's going to the way. <laughs> I was joking earlier, I didn't think he was actually gonna do it. He fucking broke it and just ran through the fence, bro. I don't think he can call the police either, because I think he knew there was a meth lab in there. I, I think, so I don't think he's gonna snitch on himself. Uh, oh, fuck, could it be like harboring, I don't know, drugs or whatever? A fugitive? I don't know. Well, not fugitive, but like, you know, drugs. Fucking just ran through, he's stealing that shit, bro. That's funny as fuck. Let's hope he doesn't make some enemies though. This guy was pretty quick to draw a shotgun on him, so let's hope we don't get in a. He doesn't come back for him. Let's hope we don't know where he lives and he comes for him, man. Uh, that'll be more problems. Well, he, well actually, he doesn't know where he lives, because he doesn't he don't live anywhere. He lives in the fucking RV. So, I mean, this is all good. <laughs> this is perfect. 
There you go, Jesse. There's a nice solution. Just robbery. Grand Theft Auto. What the fuck are you doing, Jesse? What are you doing? Holy Skyler didn't see that big ass RV right next to the damn house. Yo, I'm really sorry, okay? What is wrong with you? Why are you blue? <laughs> there you go. I've seen that meme before. Why are you blue? Why are you blue? I'm sorry, let's just say it starts with my parents being greedy, kleptomaniac douchebags. You actually, this is stupid. No, look, I know. Walt's getting pissed at everybody in his life at this point, man. Holy so shit. This is an optimal to come situation. to my house and park on my street driving this vehicle. I'm Skyler had seen you. What then? What was the plan then, genius? Huh? I don't know. That's a good you point. You don't know. You know why you don't know? Because you don't think. That's why. Oh. You don't think. You never figured out how to think, did you, Pinkman? Oh, Holy said fuck. I was sorry. I. I Dude, you can't even you can't even stop your relationship with Jesse at this point. I mean, your relationship with your wife and son is fucking up. You can't stop your relationship with Jesse, man. He's just he's getting pissed at everybody in his damn life at this point. Just need my half of the money, and I will go. Your half? There is no your. And what? What exactly do you do here? I've been meaning to ask, because I'm the producer, right? I cook. But from what I can tell, you are just a drug addict. You are a pathetic junkie. Dude, oh, Jesse's really far down, man. He's literally, because he's being told the same thing from fucking Walt when he's trying to help, trying to go get help from him. As his fucking parents were telling him, and the reason they kicked him out of the house, man. Because I'm the producer, right? I cook. He has a real value in his entire tell, fucking life. You are just a drug addict. You are a pathetic junkie. Too stupid to understand and follow simple rudimentary instructions. Too stupid to re Oh, fuck, here we go. Big ass fight. Oh, fuck. Oh no, guys, guys, stop, stop the fighting, no! Don't gonna fucking kill him, holy shit! What are you doing, Jesse? What are you doing, Jesse? Jesse, what are you doing? No! Jesse, man. Both of y'all are just in the worst situations, okay? You need to come together to make the best out of this, man. Y'all both in the worst situations. You need to talk to each other, man. Wait, what? Hmm. He wouldn't even make breakfast for his family at this point because everyone's going away. This is the closest thing to family he has at this point. This is the closest guy to understand him. Even though he just had a gigantic ass fight. This is the closest guy to understanding what's going on with him right now. This is the closest guy. <laughs> Back in the investigate this damn gas station, bro. Fucking gas and go. Oh, uh, now Skyler's at it. Fucking hell. Everyone's gone to this damn gas station in this show. <laughs> She's smoking now. <laughs> don't judge her, man. Oh, wait. She's pregnant. Actually, yeah, you should judge her. Wait, don't act. Don't wait. Actually, please don't do that. Wait, no. You're pregnant. Wait. No. Oh, my God. Okay, well this is bad. She's smoking while pregnant. That's not good. I guess she needs to de-stress, but like, uh, you're pregnant, man. You gotta wait a few. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. So that is season two, episode four of Breaking Bad. What a fantastic episode. That was fucking amazing. Um. Yeah, everyone is at their worst point in the show. I think that's why it's called, uh, the, the episode's called Down. Because I think everyone is at their worst possible point. Walter's entire family does not trust him. He has lost all contact with his entire family, and they won't trust him at all. He has, like, lost all the relationship in his family. Like, no one trusts him anymore. He's been caught. Not Well, not fully caught, but, like, they, they don't trust him at all. 
Jesse is a homeless man. He had barely no money to his name for most of the episode. He fucking stole that RV. That was sick as fuck. When he fucking just went through that damn fence. Um, yeah, and him and uh, him and Walt being at the worst point. Those they're the only two. Those those two people are now like the closest to each other in this entire show. Um, because the, the, Walt Jesse's the only one that really understands what Walt's going through and saying the other way. Uh, because they can't obviously can't tell it to everyone else. Obviously. Yeah, Jesse's also having a terrible relationship with his parents in the same way Walt's having a terrible relationship with his family. So, you know, it's 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 all going wrong. And Skylar also, from her perspective, is also at her worst possible point because her husband is just being the most untrustworthy motherfucker. She does not trust anything he fucking says. She won't be real with her. And when she's literally about to give birth to her, her give birth with her daughter in a few in a like a, what a few weeks, a month, a month or two, uh. Yeah, and now she's and she's getting so stressed by all of this that she is smoking while she is pregnant, which is very not good. That's how you know she has come to desperate measures and she is fucking stressed the fuck out. All right, so that was a fantastic episode. That was really great. I love that episode. Um, yeah, so make sure to like this video if you want me to know that you specifically want more Breaking Bad reactions, and make sure to subscribe so you get the notification when the next one gets uploaded. I upload a bunch of different stuff on this channel. Um, yeah, great episode. Bye.